Hey, welcome back to Homegrown Country Homestead. How y'all doing? Well, we just thought we'd make this uh, video here. We just got through uh, eating supper tonight and uh, thought we'd talk to y'all about a few things, you know, on our mind and let Tasha talk a little bit. She she likes talking, don't you, Tasha? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I can be pretty quiet sometimes. <laughs> well, one thing we want to talk about is uh, I harvested uh, our potatoes the other day. Uh, we had three rows. I think it amounted to about 75 feet total in length, uh, about 25 uh, feet for each row, and uh, harvest the potatoes. And uh, at the beginning of this video, I'll put pictures of the potatoes. Uh, we got probably about nine gallons of potatoes, almost uh, two five-gallon buckets. And uh, you know, we was hoping that we'd get more than that, but you know, we're thankful for what we got, and you know, we're already eating them and. Real good, man. Good. <laughs> um, got a little story to tell you though about that. Um, I uh, finished my first row digging my first row potatoes up, and uh, I was coming down my second row, and I was almost to the end there, and uh, I reached down to uh, I had a shovel in one hand, and I reached down with my other hand to uh, grab the top of the potato plant, and. Uh, Luckily, I stopped by a foot from it, a, a small copperhead about probably this long, and it's all curled up and had his head right there ready to strike. And, uh, you know, I, I pulled my hand back real quick, and, uh, you know, it just made me realize, you know, how you know how thankful I was and blessed I was. And, and right, you know, directly after I killed, killed the snake, I, I, I was like, thank you, Jesus, for letting me uh, not touch that snake because uh, I've never been snake bit before, and uh, I prefer not to get snake bit. And uh, I tell you, those snakes are bad this year, and uh, just want to let everybody know that uh, be careful out in your gardens. Uh, I've been watching for them. Uh, that's, uh, let me say, it's, it's one, two. That's going to be the third snake I've killed this year uh, so far. And uh, pretty much all of them, except maybe one, has been poisoned. Now, I'm not really sure the other one could have been, but I don't think so. But uh, y'all need to be careful uh, running your uh, garden stuff because they're bad this year, the snakes. And uh, uh, I tell my kids to watch out for them all the time out in the yard, just continually remind them to. Uh, be mindful of them and watch where they're going playing because, like I say, it only takes that like one time to step on one and they'll get you. But uh, Tasha and Summer, they, they was over, they was having a uh, yard sale the other day when I was uh, digging the potatoes up. And uh, they was over at our, our local uh, county store set up over there. And uh, I told Tasha, I said, what do you think if I came down the road going probably 100 miles an hour you know, she said, oh, I hope you stop. Because, yeah. uh, I said, I don't know. She, she lied, boy, had a rig and it hurt me worse than Snake did. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, now they, uh, you know, had what, two yard sales? Yes. They had two yard sales already. And what we're doing, we're just, uh, saving some money up for a vacation. Uh, we try to take a vacation every year. Um, we always like going to the Smoky Mountains. Um, we do go other places, but uh, for the most part, we go there every year. Yeah, it's uh, our favorite spot anyway. Yeah, the, the, just because it's, uh, we love the mountains, and it's uh, more local for us to go there. Or, you know, we have been to the Ozark Mountains up there. Uh, so they're nice mountains too. And, uh, but anyway, uh, what you, how, are y'all doing pretty good on our vacation funds? We are. We've done really good so far. Yeah. So I think Summer was worried about if we was going to get to take a little vacation or not. And uh, she tries to take every little penny and put it back. Yeah. She 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 uh we went to we got a uh, uh we got a flea market that comes in every month uh 
in Ripley, Mississippi called First Monday. And we went there today and bought a uh, Bartlett pear tree to go with the other pear tree we planted. And uh, what was she saying this morning you used time before we left? Well, she she had like she didn't want me to get no money out of the box. Yeah, she, she's she's like she's worried we're gonna spend too much money, I reckon. Yeah, she she's worried about us <laughs> going to spend some money. She afraid she she might not have no vacation money. But uh, we thought that was kind of funny. And uh but you know, we enjoy getting off, uh, taking a vacation every year, and uh, it just, uh, the timing of it, you know, I think it's going to be about right, you know, garden and stuff. It's, it's, we're uh, already start harvesting our uh, squash and zucchini, but, uh, you know, we'll have somebody take care of anything they need to uh, be picked while we're gone. But uh, Austin here, you know, we're teaching him how to uh, uh, throw a fishing uh use a fishing reel and rod. Uh, he's been practicing about two days now. He's doing real good. And, uh, they've been they've been using just a spinning spinning reel and I've been throwing it out there for them when they're fishing but uh, you know all kids they gotta learn how to do it on their own eventually and you know uh, the what I learned on was old uh, 404 uh, Zebco and 202 Zebcos. I know y'all remember those and uh, they may still make them I'm sure. Uh, what he's practicing on right now is a 33 Zepco. And Summer, she's got the hang of it. You know, she's old enough. It don't take her long to get it figured out. Maybe this year, I don't know. It's up to her if she wants to go deer hunting with me this year. You know, I told her in the past, you know, uh, she's practiced uh, shooting guns with me a little bit you know, when she's a little bit younger. But in the past year or so, she hasn't. But who knows? She might uh she might become a deer hunter. I know. I know he's going to be interested in it, but uh, I'm not going to force uh, you know my kids to do anything they don't want to do. Uh, you know, you as a parent, you kind of like them to fall into your footsteps and kind of do things that you like them not like you like doing. But uh, I say it's all about you know their uh, your children are out there are unique and they have their own um, uh, things they like doing and. We just kind of let them do what they want to do as far as that. But uh, all at the same time, uh, you know, I like my kids getting out and it's been able to experience the simple things in life, you know, uh, things that uh, that doesn't cost a lot of money. Things don't occupy your time as far as computers and cell phones and stuff like that. A little bit earlier, uh, those out there playing, trying to uh, catch some... Uh, Fireflies or lightning bugs, I call them. And, uh, is that fun? Did y'all y'all didn't yeah. catch any, but y'all was trying. Mm -hmm. But uh, anything y'all want to talk about while we're doing this video? We're just thankful you didn't get bit by no snake yesterday. Yeah, I am too. I I tell you, I'm, I'm I woke up. Uh, was this yeah this morning? I think it was yeah. I woke up this morning about three thirty. Thinking about uh, snakes and stuff, and nah, I just couldn't. I couldn't sleep. I got up. And, uh, Summer, she she kind of helped me in that too. She has a tendency. We all sleep in the same bedroom. Uh, Austin sleeps with me and Tasha, and she got her bed. She sleeps in, and uh, she has a tendency to want to bump the walls at night time. And as soon as I hear something bump, I'm not straight awake because you know I'm pretty alert about things. I'm, it, I've always been alert about things ever since, you know, but before I got married, it's just my nature. Um, Tasha can tell you, when we first got married, I'd be up almost every night. You know, I think I'd hear something, you know, we live in a trailer and it would creak and pop and stuff. Well, I'd jump out of bed and I'd grab my gun and I, I, I'd be coming down the hallway with my flashlight looking. <laughs> See, like, it's almost like a sandwich. Yeah, almost every night. But uh, it's kind of funny. We're all up the place now that we're talking. I don't think we ever did a video this way. I don't think so. Well, I mean, I guess it's fun sometimes just do a uh, on the spare moment type video, just talk about things, you know. You know. Uh, another thing I want to mention to you kind of happened to me yesterday. I oh, wasn't really happened to me; it's just something occurred that you know y'all need to be aware of that I'm aware of more now and uh, I should have already done it and I'm going to do it. I said, what are you talking about? 
<laughs> no, I was out there at my dad's house and uh, uh, some uh, two gentlemen come across the yard there. Uh, they're working at the power line right away, so, you know, spraying them, killing the, uh, the, I guess, the undergrowth and everything like that, trying to keep the right of way for the power line clear. Uh, well, I seen, uh, I seen them out there spraying, and I didn't give too much thought about it, but, you know, I was kind of keeping my eyes, you know, just in case. And I went and got my pole, chainsaw, my pole saw, and uh, one of the power lines run up uh, to our house, uh, transformer. Uh, I was going to trim the limbs out from underneath it because I didn't want them coming up there spraying because we got uh, two uh, pecan trees uh, growing and I didn't want them uh, spray up in there and kill them. Well, I got my post all out and I started cranking up and I just kind of glanced down the driveway down there and man, they was man, they were down there by my uh, blueberry bushes and blackberry bushes. Boy, I took off running, hollering and saying, whoa, 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 stop, stop. And uh, they stopped and uh, uh, I told them, oh, well, stop spraying. I said, the right of way's right here. Y'all over here are close to my bushes now, you know. And uh, I asked them to leave and everything. And uh, the point I'm making right here, I'm going to make me some signs and put up there to, uh, you know, let anybody know anybody comes up there again spraying, you know, right away, you know, not be spraying in there, you know. I got, I got uh, veg, not vegetable, but fruit, tree, bush and stuff. Bushes, not trees, but... Uh, you just have that one new bush. I mean, new tree. tree. Yeah, I planted uh, one of them hybrid poplar trees down there, but you know that's, you know that I might, that might not be able to stay there. You know, it might get too big. But anyway, at least my, uh, I told them I said the fruit uh, bush and stuff they don't grow overnight. I said it takes time for them to you know develop, and uh, they understood and everything. But you know, it's something to think about. You know, y'all got. Uh, power line right away that they come down and spray and stuff. If you got any kind of uh, fruit trees or bushes nearby, you may want to put some signs out to let them know, you know, you got them there so they won't spray them. Because I tell you, once they spray, they're going to be gone. But uh, anyway, I, I got to get out there and put me some signs up, you know. Just want to let y'all know about that. That's, that's something I should have already done. But uh, y'all got anything else you want to say? Well, I know. We want to thank everybody for subscribing to our channel, watching our channel, sharing our videos. Uh, we have, uh, I think right now, close to 530 uh, subscribers. And we really appreciate everybody uh, subscribing to our channel. Um, like I say, uh, we just put videos up as we uh, uh, have things to put up. Just kind of show you what we're doing. Um, a lot of times I don't think it's uh, nothing just real special about what we're doing. You know, I think pretty much a, most people uh, live, try to live a uh, common, ordinary, simple type lifestyle. You got to this day and time to uh, kind of make it, you know. Uh, I tell you, you know, don't touch it up. Just don't get on a roll. You'll get on a roll. Uh, I tell you, you know, talking about a simple uh, things not simple a lot of times, you know, uh, I went and had a test done last, last year and, uh, had insurance, you know, and everything pre-approved and, uh, I tell you, these insurance companies, I tell you, hey, they something else. They tell you they're going to do something Yeah, else. they tell you they're going to hey, take care of your bill something. for you and then they turn around and tell you they're not going to take care of it for you. Or... Part of it's in network and part of it's not in network. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah. Part know. in, part out. <laughs> I tell you. And the thing is, you know, I don't know if they're trying to pull something, but they ain't pulling nothing on my ass because they uh, it, it's pre it's been pre approved and everything. And but you know, you never know what you're gonna be faced with this this day and time. You know, uh, one minute it's the it's the people trying to spray you. Fruit bushes, next minute it's the insurance company trying to get all your money. <laughs> Tasha, just you crazy. <laughs> all right. We're fixing in this video because Tasha, just you get a little, you get a little wound up over there, I can tell. <laughs> but uh, anything y'all want to say before I close the video down? We're just thankful for the opportunity to be able to share 
thank everybody for watching and uh, appreciate appreciate uh, y'all sharing them with our videos. Yeah, sharing the videos. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Tasha over here trying to figure out she said what she needed to say or said it wrong. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, we appreciate y'all watching the video. Um, Hope it's been a little entertaining there. I know you haven't learned too much because I uh, really ain't showed you anything. <laughs> and most time, you probably ain't learned nothing from me that you don't already know. But uh, anyway, we appreciate y'all watching the videos. And as always, from my family to yours, y'all have a blessed day, friends. See y'all later. Bye-bye. Bye. Tasha, Justin, you'll be getting on talking about the insurance company. Is that what you're thinking? Yeah. Actually, we'll find them. Somebody didn't cut the camera off. What? All <laughs> oh, the camera's still on. Oh, oh, we'll see y'all later. Bye. <laughs>